One of the biggest stories of EUC so far is the Spanish Open team, who are having a fantastic start to their European Championship campaign. They started day one with back-to-back -back universe point victories against Israel and then Italy. At the close of day two, the Spaniards are three and one, losing to Germany, but comfortably taking down Ireland in this game. The Spanish have translated their rapid style from the beach to the grass, which really troubled the Irish in this game. In match coverage, the Irish players could do nothing but watch, as the Spanish O-line made numerous explosive changes of direction, which left the Irish squelching in the soaking ground. In this video, we've compiled all the best moments of flow from the Spanish O-line. There's so many brilliant things to look out for. Lots of small zero-second backwards passes to keep the flow in vision, attacking the pull aggressively with motion, dribbling moves and looking for instant return passes, and raising the tempo of an attack to another gear when they gain an advantage. But most of all, the Spanish O-line put on an absolute clinic on how to cut to evacuate and clear space for teammates to immediately enter and take advantage, creating a cascade of empty spaces that cutters would enter, receive the disc, and try to throw the next pass as soon as they could. There's two key players to keep an eye on, and they lead the stats for Spain Open. That's Francisco Romano, number 6, and Juan Triano, number 43, who himself is used to the soggy Irish conditions, playing his club Ultima of Ranala this year. On OTTV's late night live show on Monday, Lou got the chance to sit down and talk to Francisco and Juan to analyse a little bit of their zone offence and clutch universe point win against Israel. We've linked that analysis in the description below. They told us they intend to use their tiki taka style to prove that Spain's not just a beach team and they're an elite threat on the grass too. Best of luck to Spain and I'll leave you with more of this lightning fast Spanish offence. There's the throw leading on to Romano and he tries to finish it off in the end zone and does so. Ireland in terms of like the, the training you can get and the competition you can get, but I think the role that he plays at XVI has really allowed him to step up and get to the next level of his game. And how frequently do we see the reset to Triano and him immediately throw it right back? That's Monterde he was working with initially. Monterde again with the disc back to Triano. And now Troiano, he has options. Initially shut down those two cuts to the same place. And now Monterde may be getting a bit frustrated. After some quick flow to get halfway, the Irish are doing a better job of limiting their options. O'Callaghan on Troiano, coming all the way down, fielded by Giron. Immediately loads the Troiano, and here comes the pressure. He wants a deep shot immediately, he's going for it. There's a blown coverage downfield as it finds its way to Monterde. I thought there would be far more white shirts getting in the way of that one. It's the kind of throw that they've been looking to invite from the Spaniards. There's the pass into the middle. San Jose gets it back to Dalmau. Dalmau. Still nothing immediately coming, so he runs himself for the goal. No, nope, just in front of him. A little bit shy. Dalmau, as Ireland collapses in on him, leaves a pop pass available and gets it right in front of the end zone. The campaign that shall not be named. <laughs> gets it down the line to Romano. Romano immediately sets up Dalmau, oh. who looks for the deep shot. He wants Monterde, and he oh. finds him. Comfortable collection for the it was a perfect call. McAllister tries to get the flick hook up, but the raised hand from Ruben San Jose, he was ready for it. The quick pop, Troiano to Giron, and Spain finished this one up. 59. Well, credit to the Spanish. That is a really complete performance, I think, from them. Their O-line only turned over twice all game.